ಅಂತ ಬೀದರ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆವೆನ್ಯೂನ ಬೀದರ್ ಕಾಹೆಲ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಬಿ ಎಂ ಕೆ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಟುಡೇ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಗುಣ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನಿಷನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯಗುಣ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗುಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಗುಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ದೀಸ್ ಗುಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಹರೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಮೆನಿ ದ್ರವ್ಯಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಶ್ವಗಂಧ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ದಿ ಬುಗ್ಗುಲು ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಿಚ್ಚಿಲ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ದ ತೈಲ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಬಲಾಕ್ಲ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಗುರು ಪಿಚ್ಚಿಲ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಹೌ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಗುಣ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಸೊ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುಣ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ವಿಶೇಷಿಕ ವಿ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಮೋರ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ವೇ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗುಣ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಕಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮಕಾಲಜಿ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಗುಣ ಬೈ ಫಾರ್ಮಕಾಲಜಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುಣ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆವಿ ಆರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಅಸ್ ಹೌ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುಣ ಆಮಂತ್ರಣಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಮಂತ್ರಿಯತೆ ಲೋಕ ನೇಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೆವಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಗುಣ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಸೊ ಗುಣ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಗೌನತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಸಂಹಿತ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಪ್ರಧಾನ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಸಮ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿ ದರ್ಶನಾಸ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಹರೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸೆಪರೇಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಕಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಸೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಇನ್ ಹೆನ್ ಹರೆಂಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಪರೇಬಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ ಗುಣ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಗುಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಇನ್ಹರೆಂಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ವಿ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಗುಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂ
in the body these gunas are present in outside substances and which are similar we are calling them as shadhi gunas or qualities of human body which are also present in the loka or in the outside world which we utilize in our therapy and we can also see these paradi gunas which are specially mentioned in our ayurvedic texts as these are related for more for the treatment purpose when uh, when we are doing treatment these other properties we can understand which will help us in better treatment philosophy and there are other gunas which are the qualities of soul which are six in number and uh, this we can get from shlokas also and uh, when we see these are these can be reclassified into different ways these which are related to the spiritual world which are not related to the materialistic world and which we cannot get through our materialist senses they are called spiritual or adhyatmic gunas which are called atma gunas also they are six in number they are icha means a desire dvesha means hate sukha getting some satisfaction from that and dukkha is not getting satisfaction and some pain or something and prayatna we are doing some activity that jin and buddhi which is separating the good or bad or something which can be decided these are the things which we can understand as atma gunas and we can also find these adi bhautika gunas bhautika means which are to the present world so physical world or material world which we can find these adi bhautika gunas are there and in that there are two types again samanya and vishishta gunas samanya gunas are these guru adi and paradi tatti gunas and vishishta gunas are the sarga gunas are the qualities which we get the knowledge by the ardhas or indriyas or senses so these are the major categories but uh, one manas manas manasik gunas are also considered by yogana as is one more guna but uh, mostly the ayurveda accept these 41 gunas so this is the table through which we can make into the classification where we can see the guna and then we can see it is classified into adi bhautika and adhyatmika then adi bhautika is classified into samanya vishesha which are 35 30 and 5 these vishishta gunas are sarga the senses and these samanya are guru adi 20 and paradi 10 and we can see this adhyatmika or atma gunas which are six this table is one one which is giving a very good understanding of the classification of guna 41 how they are divided then we can also see what are the guru adi gunas these are also called sharirika gunas i have told earlier so in this there are 10 pairs of gunas are present 20 gunas are there 10 pairs which are opposite to each other you can find one is guru and lagu one pair the guru substances are heavy they are heavy in nature and they are heavy to digest or they cause heaviness in our body or lagu which are light which are going to cause lightness in body or easy to be digested like that meaning is there and shita guna and ushna guna these are another pair shita is cold cold to our body causing coldness in our body or stubborn in our body and ushna which is hard causing hardness or feeling of hardness or opposite to the shita guna stamba gaurava shita guna means it is reducing the stiffness in our body and it causes vilayana it causes the melting of this uh, body the substances like kapha etc so we can also see the smitha which is oily and ruksha which is non oily or dry and you can see manda which is uh, very slow in nature or non penetrating and tikshna guna which is penetrating going into the deeper surfaces or very uh, penetrating type of thing and we can see the slakshna which is very smooth and kara which is having a rough in nature and sandra and drava drava is liquid sandra is somewhat solid in nature and you can also find murudhu and katina which is soft and which is hard and stira and saragunas stira is more stable in nature sara is moving stira is not moving and sukshma which are small micro and somewhat not visible and stula which are macro which can be visible and which are larger in size and you can see vishada and pichila group with pair where pichila is stickiness and whereas vishada is non stickiness or clarity 
in the substance. These are the 20 gunas which are 10 pairs we can understand, 10 pairs are opposite. So this is the Sharika gunas which are commonly used because these are the things which we see in the universe, in our drugs, in fruits which we are using for our body which improves our dhatus or increases our doshas or it increases our dhatus or dhatus or doshas. So we use them mostly in our treatment. So this is the sloka where we but you can easily learn and this is the Guru Manda Himasnitha Slekshna Sandra Bhutustiraha Gunaha Pasukshma Vishadaha Vimshati Saviparyaya. So there are these ten with their viparyas, opposites are twenty and this is a very simple sloka one anybody can learn. And we can see some examples, we will learn them very uh, detailed in later uh, classes where we can understand some Kushna. Kushna guna we can find in Chitraka, we can also find in Langali, we can also find in Ballataka, etc. Where we can see the hardness to this parsha, the touch. And it is also going to increase Ushnata in our body, Deepana means appetizer, etc. We can also find it's one of the examples where we Ushna can be found in Chitraka. And we can see another opposite Shita, the coldness we can see in the Chandana, which is mostly followed even in common houses to control the heat in summer, which is applied on skin so that the temperature or hotness can be controlled and that it is very cool and dry, which is practically even in homes. And you can see Guru which is heavy and heavy means it is going to create heaviness in our body that is increasing our weight when we eat it and we can see Lagu Laja which is uh, puffed rice, Masha is a black grain, black gram and we can see Lagu Laja, Lagu Guna, the light quality food that is Laja that is puffed rice. We can give it whenever we need very instant energy where it is immediately digested and the person get the nutrition or oh, very fast it. And these are the other gunas, paradi gunas, para, para, yukti, sankhya, samyoga, vibhaga, prutakva, parimana, samskara, abhyasa and sarthati gunas, shabda, sparsha, rupa, rasa, janda and atma gunas you can see chadvesha, sukha, dukha and buddhi, prayatna. These are the gunas. Then we can also classify these gunas in different way where we can see that gunas are sattva, rajas and tamas. These are called the gunas of karana dhavyas. Means they are from the initial stage of the evolution of this universe. These are there and which are present in everywhere. And but for us in treatment or chikitsa shastra, we use the karana dhavyas and gunas of karana dhavyas, those part even are studied here. We can also see some other points. Why we are studying guna? Why we want these qualities? Because our treatment principle is based on sarvada, sarvabhavanam, samanyam, vridhikaranam, hrasa hedur, visheshascha, pravrutr, vahesh. So what that means? The samanya and vishesha. Samanya is similar, vishesha is different. So when samana dravyas, suppose mamsa is given, mamsa will increase in our body. Some are gunas. If we see the Ushna Padardas, Ushna Jala, if we give Ushnata in our body will increase. Or if we see karma, if somebody is doing more movement, etc., the karma of Vata is increased, Vata will increase. So this is Samanya and opposite. When we do, when you give these Dravyas or Gunas or Karmas which are opposite, then the that similar one it is going to decrease. In case of Gunas, we see some of the examples of Guna Samanya. Guna vruddhi, how it will happen? So when similar gunas are given, guna is going to improve. So we see the Masha black ram where we it is having a good guna and when we give this Masha to the patients or people who want to improve their weight, that is Brumana. So because of this guru guna, gurudha, the heaviness, that is the weight will increase in our body. And this is called guna samanyata and guna visheshata when when we are giving a different thing, then that guna will reduce. We can see the Ushna guna of Hingu. Hingu is the asaphotida, where when we are giving the Shita guna, the cold guna of body will reduce, uh, will decrease and 
we can see the stamina stiffness caused by the chita will come down so that when there is a stiffness in the abdominal muscles colic is there that when you give hingu this is going down so we can also see some other things here in gunas there are pairs opposite pairs so when we give one guna the it is going to increase the same guna and it is going to reduce the opposite pair of guna so we can see in tilaka ila where snigdha oiliness is present in that oily guna is present when we give it we can see the snigdha oiliness is increased and we can also see the rukshata dryness is reduced so opposite guna decreases and similar guna increases that's why these are very very important in our treatment we can also see in treatment we can see treatment in ayurveda is mainly classified into santarpana and apadarpana where we are giving oh, this anabolic and catabolic so when we are giving more uh, dhat more food or something which is increasing our body santarpan and which is reducing our our dhatus etc so we can classify this totti gunas based on santarpana which increase or apadarpana which are going to cause <coughs> reduction in our dhatus etc we can find this these ten opposite pairs are there and we can also see this in our other treatment principle which is called as a shadow pakrama means six types of treatment are mentioned in ayurveda so brumana which is improving our body weight langana which is going to reduce and we can see the snehana which is going to cause oiliness in our body and rukshana which is going to cause dryness in our body and which is going to cause swedana which is going to cause uh, sveda and uh, what we call fermentation and stamana which is going to cause stiffness so these are the six principles which are used in our treatment and we can see how these gunas are related with this treatment principles so when we see the guru guna is present in brumana snehana and swedana and also we can see the lagu is present in langana rukshana and stamana karmas we can also see the ushna in langana rukshana and swedana karmas and we can see shita in brumana snehana as well as swedana karma so we can find this in rukshana also we can see langana is there rukshana is <coughs> ruksha karma is there ruksha guna is there in langana and uh, rukshana and stamana karma so like that we can see different gunas are helping in this shed upakrama six types of treatment that's why the gunas are very very important to learn and we can see some other concepts the on this guna concept so guna gunasreya nokta means gunas are not depending on other gunas why the gunas are depending upon they are present in dravya they are not present in any other guna so no guna will have other guna here guna word includes not only these particular gunas it also includes rasa vipaka virya etc also they are not depend upon one another they are depending on the dravya which they are present we can see guru snigdha shita guna are present even madhur rasa we say that they are present but madhur rasa is a guna guru snigdha are also gunas we are combining them because they are present in the dravyas like milk rice etc and these are present in that and because they are present in relation or in coexistence in the same dravya that is what we call praya sahacharyata they are present in coexistence we say these gunas are one another depending but they are depending on the dravya that is what this uh, principle is telling one more principle is there how these gunas we can identify or how we can assess we are telling initially i told that these gunas are mostly physical properties but in our ayurveda as the it has evolved uh, we are telling that it is mostly these gunas are pharmacological means we see its effect through the pharmacological action than mere physical property so we are thinking here guru guru guna is heaviness it causes brumhana in our body yes cha brumhane shakti that is guru guna property shita which is going to cause stamana that is stiffness in our body ushna hot hardness but it is not hot outside what we are seeing is stamba gaurava shita that means it is going to reduce the stiffness it is going to reduce the heaviness in our body it is going to reduce the coldness in our body then that guna is present in that substance we say 
So, guna of dravya can be informed by its karma, not by mere physical property. This is more Ayurvedic angle of understanding it. Because of the coexistence, there is a relation, is plausible, but it is not the actual thing. So, we can see when we see 41 gunas, but when we see the classics, we can also find some way of telling gunas different than 41 gunas. We can see in Susruta, Viraka Guna called Vyavai, Vikashi, Ashukari, etc. are present. And when the pairs are there, they have some different opinion of opposite gunas have been mentioned. So that and some Badanta Nagarjuna who wrote Rashavai Shishika, he mentioned that the gunas, even though they are 20, we very important for our therapy are 10, that is called Vishishka Samadhya Sampanna Gunas. They are having very, very specific efficacy in them. So these, some 10 Gunas are the very 10, uh, ten, 10 important Gunas are there. They are more needed in Ayurveda and other 10 are to be studied for more understanding. We can see very of Gunas, how they are changing in uh, various classics. So in Susruta, instead of Sugandha Durgandha has been mentioned, which is not present in Charaka or Bhagavata. We can see instead of Slekshna Kara in Charaka, Susruta says Slekshna and Karkasha. And we can also see in Bhagavata, instead of Sthira Sara, he is mentioning as Sthira and Chala. We can see in Susruta, instead of Sthira Sara opposition, we can see Manda Sara and instead of Manda Dikshna, we can see Mrudu Dikshna. This is the Pairs, opposite pairs have been changed, the number of gunas are still maintaining at 20. In Vavrakash, Slekshna Karkasha is mentioned and Badanta Nagarjuna mentioned only these 10 gunas, that is very important 10 gunas are mentioned. So, we can see different references we can find in classes which we can go through and with this we are going to conclude today's uh, class or discussion on guna and its classification where we have understanding that guna is present in dravya along with karma it is separate from karma and it is not the action but it is a property and which can be used in our treatment principle based on samanya vishesha siddhanta and we also know that there are 41 gunas which may be classified into adhyatmi gunas or adhibodhi gunas and adhyatmika atma guna 6 and Adhipotika, we have the Vishishta Gunas or Vaisheshika Gunas, which are five, which are senses, uh, which are the properties which are we are understanding through the senses. And there are Guruadi Gunas, which are our bodily Gunas, there are 20, and there are Paradi Gunas, 10, which are useful in our planning of treatment. And we can also know differences which are there in classics among the number, and we also know that why we use in uh, these gunas in our Santarpana Patarpana Chikitsa as well as Shadu Pakrama. Thank you.